It's easy to look at a sheet of paper and say, oh, yep, these are the data. But what's not always clear or obvious to the people who work with data is how that data is produced and who is actually generating those numbers and how those numbers come into being. So this film is about data. It's about the people who collect the data. It's about the work that goes into collecting the data. It's about the energy and time and dedication that the entire team puts into creating a data set which is then analyzed and eventually published. What is interesting and so challenging about this project is that the data have to be generated in a real life setting in rural South Africa and it's not as easy as going into the lab and running some experiments and it's really interesting to be able to understand how that data gets produced in a non-controlled environment so that when we're looking at the data after the fact we can understand why it's not perfect and why it is the way it is and kind of appreciate how much work went into actually collecting it under these real world conditions. The municipality, EWS, has installed a large number of urine diverting dry toilets. The goal of the project is to recover nutrients from urine in the form of a usable fertilizer, but at the same time to increase acceptance and use of the urine diverting dry toilets. Basically what happens is that people bring their urine to one of the collection points. A field worker is waiting at the collection point. They measure the, the weight of the tank that's brought. They check the quality of the urine using conductivity just to make sure that it hasn't been watered down or that it's not fake urine or that it's not water. Based on the weight, tokens are given to the person in exchange for the urine. Those tokens are then taken to one of the local participating shops. Hopefully by giving urine a value, people will be able to recognize and appreciate that the urine diverting toilets are an appropriate sanitation technology and by using them we'll be able to collect more urine, produce more fertilizer and hopefully have a sustainable sanitation system which also creates benefit from waste. So within this project we have people who are working at different collection points who are monitoring the quantity and quality of the urine that's coming in. We have field workers who are going house to house and doing qualitative interviews with people who are participating. We have field workers who are going to houses and measuring the quantity of urine that's produced. We have field workers who are going house to house and collecting urine. We have people who are processing urine into struvite and all of those people feed into the giant network of basically data collectors. There's just a really big network of people who just are depending on each other, who trust each other, and who wouldn't be able to do what they have to do without having built these really good relationships over a long period of time. People who are doing surveys work rain or shine. They're going house to house, often in blazing sun or pouring rain. People are carrying large quantities of urine. Women are measuring up to 25 kilograms of urine in a tank. People are doing really detailed measurements and keeping really accurate records. Everyone gets tired, everyone gets hot. At the end of the day, the accounting has to work out and everyone is just really willing to sit there and make sure it gets done and make sure it gets done right. And I think that's the, the extra level of dedication that the people we work with have and that's what makes them so special and that's why we keep working with them and the reason we've been having this partnership for so long and they're the reason that the project is so successful and why we're going to have such good data in the end. Good data comes from good relationships, that's exactly it.